Today I fucked up by ignoring an open window and pouring my heart out to my friend. Please enjoy my cringe, personally I'm mortified. I was at uni, sitting and talking with one of my girlfriends about a crush of mine on a balcony. Blabbering on about how much I like this guy, how I've been into him since I met him and how his presence is just nice and comforting, and how I can't for the world figure out if this guy likes me, which he probably doesn't, especially not after listening to me talk like this. So we sit and analyze everything that happened at a gathering we were at, all in the most sappy manner. Terribly, grossly, nonsensically sappy, the way only two girlfriends can be. And frankly, I don't know him very well so it was way over the top. This is not including all other personal and embarrassing topics. Now, I did notice that in a room beside this balcony there was an open window, but I didn't think too much of it. Regrettably, cue about 10 minutes later, the guy steps out of the room next door, with his dad. He gives me the most awkward smile I've ever seen, and I frankly can't tell if he's smiling because he just feels so embarrassed or if he's about to drop to the floor laughing. Either way, I feel really sorry for him. They've heard me ramble on and on about him and all of his actions at this party. How I, being the creep that I am, constantly watched this guy to see if he was watching me and so on. All of the works just end my misery. Anyway, I'm currently looking into options involving moving to the other side of the globe and or obtaining a new identity. Change universities. Anything really. I probably won't sleep for a week following this level of cringe. I've given up on completing my assignment for tonight, because I can't do anything but wallow in this. Too long didn't read. Don't speak about personal stuff in semi-public places. Your soul will wither. Have a lovely Monday. 3. Old lady here, cat's out of the bag. Talk to him, ask him out for coffee. You have nothing to lose now, so just go for it. Keep us posted, sorry it was cringeworthy. Well looks like you accidentally played a hand. As an awkward post-college male, I'd recommend doubling down and just being like so yeah, you ofs know what's in my head, wanna get a drink? Transparency is key in relationships and this is ofs an elephant in the room why all neither address or try to ignore it. My experience is addressing it usually leads to a lot more fun outcome. Moving across the globe ain't a bad second choice. You're absolutely right. Moving about 3,000 kilometers away just seems like the easier decision here. Give us an update for when you'll actually confront each other! Exclamation mark. Give it a month or two, that's when I'll dare step out of my apartment again. He probably awkwardly smiled because his dad would be ripping the shit out of him in that goofy way that only proud parents winding their kid up can do. His last words before smiling were probably something like shut up dad. No you can't talk to her! Exclamation mark. Twist coming, he's as awkward as I was when I was young and he'll eventually pluck up the courage, maybe, if you're lucky. I really hope so, or I should pluck up the courage. Smile it will have to wait, I don't think my psyche could handle rejection right now. Let's hope fortune decides to side with me rather than leaving a window open next time. Today I fucked up by possibly scarring a child for life. Let me set the scene. The year is 2009 and my girlfriend at the time, now wife, and I are on our first real vacation together. We decided to go to Disney World because she had never been. We hit every single park there and had an amazing time. The FU happened while we were at Magic Kingdom. IGF wanted to get the entire experience which meant waiting in lines to get pictures with all of her favorite Disney characters. We were waiting in line, in the middle of July, in the awful Florida humidity to get pictures taken with Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I was casually looking around while waiting in line and happened to make eye contact with this kid in front of me. He was probably 6 to 8 years old. He directed his eyes towards Tigger, and that's when I noticed what was going on. The child spotted a zipper on the back of the Tigger costume. I watched as the child tugged at his mother's leg, only to see her push him away again and again because she was on the phone. He looked towards me for an answer next. Poor decision on his part. He pointed, and I leaned in and said that so Tigger can take his skin off before he goes to sleep at night. I watched as they went and got pictures with Winnie the Pooh. Afterwards, as they approached Tigger, 
the child started screaming bloody murder. He wanted absolutely no part of Tigger. My GF and I just laughed about it. She casually brings it up in conversation to this day. Some people laugh, others look at me in disgust. Too long didn't read, ruined a kid's life by telling him Tigger takes his skin off at night. Or because his mom wouldn't pay attention to him. I don't know what to write. I started commenting three times and started over. Please make this your day job and keep us posted. I don't know how society has been able to operate thus far without someone filling this role, whatever it comes to be labeled. Reminds me of how my dad used to tell misbehaving children that he was going to untie their belly buttons and let their skin fall off. I don't know. I don't think it's a fuck up. I think it's great. Only f up I can see is not telling the kid all adults do it too. Your mom will show you your zipper when you're grown up enough. I am a person that laughs about this. Well. What else were you supposed to do? Lie to him. Today I fucked up by forgetting I was connected to my boyfriend's headphones. Sometimes when my boyfriend is playing on the PlayStation I borrow his headphones to watch something else cause mine are uncomfortable whilst also wearing glasses. So we have a great day together, we watch some TV, a friend randomly stops by so I forget I'm still connected. Bedtime rolls around and I decide to bust out my VFF and some visuals, volume down, cause you know, so in next room cause I can't sleep. 10 minutes in I'm just about done and my boyfriend busts into the room trying to act casual. Him, babe, what are you watching? Seeing no point in lying, me, um, random porn. Him, yeah I fucking know it's blasting out my headphones can you turn your bluetooth off please? Too long didn't read, I forgot I was still connected to my boyfriend's bluetooth headphones so he caught me giving myself a handy. Remember where your bluetooth is connected to folks. Okay sorry but what does VFF mean? Thank you. Google told me it's Village Farms International Incorporated. Don't think that's right. Yeah. VFF not well known. Urban Dictionary has it as a term for gay furries. So maybe don't abbreviate that one. Ahaha ah, ah, I did not know this, smiley face. But I also didn't know what wording I could get away with so thought a nickname would be best. Your reddit account is just 8 days older than mine. I made it around the time season 8 of got was coming out I think. Wanted to keep up with the discussions after I read the books. Oh, you're watching porn? That's cool. Can you keep it down? I'm trying to play games. Hmm, not how I would have reacted, but to each their own. Maybe it's just me but if knew my GF was in the next room taking care of business I wouldn't sit around for 10 minutes wondering what to do. Sometimes it's nice to be alone for an DIY. But yeah, not sure why he'd listen for so long without checking in or letting her know.